in the afternoon, KNSI. AM 1450, FM 103.3, KNSI's Ox in the Afternoon, and your KNSI's Business Profile, presented by Falcon National Bank. 448, 12 in front of 5 o'clock. Just a few more minutes to spend with the folks from Falcon. Uh, Roger Hansen and Jessica Bitts filling in for the president and CEO, John Herges. Thanks for coming over, you guys. Thank you. Thanks. Guys and gal, anyway. Uh, you know what? Um, I'll let you do the introductions, Jessica, will you? Who, uh, who have you brought in for our business of the month this month? All right. Well, they can definitely tell the story much better than I can, but we have got John and Luke from Data Marketing here with us today, and we're very excited for them to tell us a little bit about themselves. Welcome, fellas. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming over. Data Marketing. Um, you got what? What big headlines recently? What? What? What happened with your company? You guys had a big move or something? Yeah, we recently moved into the Regency building right on uh, West Saint Germain Street uh, in downtown Saint Cloud, and uh, it was a business feature done in the Saint by the Saint Cloud Times on us, and so it was a really great feature for us. Yeah, no kidding. So you moved, but you were still downtowners, kind of, right? Yes, we're still downtown. We moved only about a block away, but we've got a much uh, bigger space for us, and it, it's a, it works great for the way we operate as a business and uh, as a team uh, to collaborate on projects. So uh, can I can I have the one sheet of what data marketing is for those maybe not familiar? John? Sure. Uh, we do social media for businesses. Uh, we become a business's social media team. That said, shout out to all the people in our office that are tweeting, pinning, posting, etc. Hi, guys. <laughs> Appreciate all your hard work. <laughs> wow. I could use something like that. A lot of businesses can. It's 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 very normal to me to, to sit down with a with a business owner or a business manager uh, who understands that they that they should be using uh, social media to build their brand and to build public trust and build top of mind awareness. But most of the people simply don't have time, uh, or they don't have the technical expertise, and and it really does. It takes a team to do this thing right, and we become their team. And uh, data, data marketing is, uh, is, is somewhat new to the area. Is that, is that right? You guys have started up, I don't know, within the past five years? Oh, the, yeah. Yeah, we, the, uh, uh, we, didn't, we, we, we started really uh, in St. Cloud in February of uh, 2012, so about a year and a half. I'm going to get in a moment as to your relationship with Falcon National Bank and, and how that all happened, and maybe it'll tie in with our conversation, but uh, how did it all start? Uh, and, and in preparation of this question, I asked Luke if he'd let me answer, and he <laughs> he, uh, he he said I could. Are you guys brothers? Or Good question. <laughs> okay. we oh, we're going to get to that, all right? <laughs> now, Luke, I really look that old. Luke, <laughs> Luke and John Reardon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks, Luke. Um, uh, I'm Luke's uncle. Luke is, uh, Luke is my nephew. All but, right. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> so it all it, it all started when the data marketing really all started when when Luke was a student at St. John's here locally, uh, and uh, uh, Luke understood the importance of of uh, social media in connecting people and uh, uh, allowing people to share and talk to each other and communicate better. Uh, and Luke Luke had the crazy idea that maybe uh, uh, that that maybe businesses could use social media. Uh, a social media ecosystem to talk to the public, their clients, uh, uh, better the public and their clients uh, in a, in a more in a, in a more appropriate way, in a better way, and again build their brand, etc. So Luke uh, was a, as I said, was a student at St. John's. He approached his marketing professor, asked his marketing professor if he could do a uh, an internship uh, for an orthopedic clinic uh, in Stevens Point, Wisconsin, that Luke has close ties to, and his marketing professor gave him permission to do so. So Luke conducted a uh, about a four-month uh, internship at the clinic, uh, an orthopedic clinic that when Luke started barely had a website, and he completely social mediaized uh, the Klesinski Clinic, which is the orthopedic clinic at Stevens Point mm. that he was at, uh, completely wow. social mediaized them. And uh, uh, at the end of his internship, uh, the, he, he, he was asked to give his report to the to the to the partners uh, to the docs who were partners sat down gave his uh gave his review of of what what his work was and what he had accomplished they looked at him uh very surprised and said wow 
uh, you you have to keep doing this. You have to keep you know building it, making it better. This is we had no idea you could accomplish things like this. You have to keep doing it. We'll pay you if you continue. Uh, so so really, to me, that was the moment uh, when 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 data marketing uh, was born, even though it was still not even in its infancy. But at that yeah. point in time. Uh, and then, yeah, I've been I've been I've been involved in business and sales for 30 plus years. And uh, Luke uh, Luke asked me for some of my advice and help with business planning. And uh, I loved his idea after 30 seconds of him explaining it to me. I love the model. Uh, so Luke and I uh, Luke and I uh, partnered up, and uh, here we are. Luke and John Reardon from Data Marketing on KNSI's Business Profile, presented by Falcon National Bank here at 454. Can I? Ask, uh, maybe it's a secret, but Luke, um, I've, I've heard the, the general term social marketing, social marketing, social media, social this. So what specifically did you do for these folks, and what do you do for your customers? It's not a secret at all. But, no? Uh, no? No, 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 not at all. Um, we, what we do is um, is something unique, I think, from other businesses who uh, will, will say they'll help out with the social media strategy. We actually, what John uh, alluded to in the beginning we actually do the work. We will we'll set up a Facebook page for a business, and then we will communicate on that business's behalf on a daily basis. Really? That's yes. what you do? That's okay. what we do. We tweet, we blog, we pin. You know, we, we use all the social media sites so they don't have to. We really try to learn that business's personality, uh, learn what they want to sell, what they want to try to uh, promote in their business. We find clever ways to get that message across to their audiences. And in order to, to to help market their products, it's you, all about return of return in, of an, their investment. Do you post photos? Do you photos, videos, uh, blogs that we create? Yeah, all, all that content. We we create the content in house. We'll huh. we'll go out to the locations, take photos, take videos. It's, it's all very important stuff for uh, for social media. Do you keep track of birthdays so you can wish everybody happy birthday like everybody else on Facebook seems to do? <laughs> well, uh, a lot of times we do, actually. We'll, we'll, <laughs> yeah. we'll talk to uh, the, the businesses and, and say, hey, when, whenever it's uh, somebody, uh, an employee's uh, birthday, you know, take a photo of them uh, cutting their birthday cake in the business. People really want to connect with businesses on a huh. on a more of a relationship level, and that's really what we try to get across. So that's a quite a bit of trust that your client's Put in you absolutely, absolutely, and we and we take that very seriously. Wow, that's cool. How many employees do you guys have? We now have eleven full time employees. Oh my goodness, including John, John and myself. Really? Yeah. And the new location you say is working out great. Can we see you from the street, or are you upstairs? Or you can't see us from the street. You'll have to walk in okay. to the Regency Building, but we're just outside of the uh, the fountain. There's a fountain right on the first floor. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. You can't miss us. We have glass glass walls. So come in and, and watch us work if you, if you want to. Well, another success story I know in downtown St. Cloud for sure. What uh, then? What was the the relationship with Falcon National Bank? How did that come about? And and what is it that you? Uh, what is your relationship with them? <clears throat> well, they're they're our banker. Uh, we uh, they're our pretty much our only banker. Uh, after we were in business for, for six months, we had the crazy idea to try to get, to try to establish credit, not in my name or in Luke's name, but in data marketing's name. Hmm. Uh, and like I said, after six months in business, we approached uh, Falcon and said, <clears throat> okay, well, we've been in business in six months. I mean, <laughs> You guys should probably, you know, see our look at our track record and give us a loan. Cra- <laughs> the crazy thing is, they did. Uh, well, they yeah. they were able to look at uh, our, um, our our future revenue that was, uh, you know, coming our accounts receivable. Right, our our projected our projected and which we've which we've blown away. But uh, uh, they they actually, I mean, I encourage any small business out there. No matter how small, no matter how young, if if you're if things are going the right way for you, talk to Falcon. They're they're unbelievable. Well, you guys are a great success story, and and all the best to you. It's good to see downtown thriving, and uh, again, local folks doing good locally with local money. Luke and John uh, Reardon from Data Marketing. Thanks for coming over. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much, Jessica Pitts, guys. Roger Hansen from Falcon. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Ox. you, Ox. Good times. Always a pleasure. Say hi to Mr. President. I'm sure he'll be joining us again next month. I definitely will. Very good. Your Candace Eyes Business Profile presented by Falcon National Bank each second Wednesday of the month. 
rounding out Ox in the Afternoon on KNSI. Let's do it. We're a half hour late, but we'll take caller number three right now at 251-1990, and you will qualify to be today's Christmas in Branson drawing qualifier. Call now. Caller three. Falcon National Bank presents Business Profile on KNSI. Hear how local money is financing local projects. While the media reports that money is tight and opportunities are slim today, Falcon National Bank tells you differently by showcasing numerous success stories of businesses expanding locally. Hear KNSI's Business Profile presented by Falcon National Bank each second Wednesday of the month from 4.30 to 5 p.m. during Ox in the Afternoon. Opportunities are out there. You just have to listen. Falcon National Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender.